Hey guys, John Vaporoni Technologies here today, coming to you with another application. What we have been seeing recently is people expecting the vapor honing process to do multiple steps in one. And sometimes it can do multiple things in one process, but there is one specific application that it cannot do two, time, two things in one. Um, that would be powder coating or paint removal along with finishing a particular part to look like this. Um, you will not be able to remove paint or powder coat normally and polish in the same process. You're gonna have to do a two-step process on this part. Um, we have gotten a lot of misconception with this specific application for some odd reason. Um, this is a magical process, but it is not that magical. Um, some of you know how hard powder coating and paint, factory paint, can be to remove. And a round spherical polishing abrasive is not going to cut that stuff off of the part and polish at the same time. So you're gonna have to do a two-step process. Some people opt for buying two machines um, to set up a cutting abrasive in one and a polishing abrasive in another. Um, or some people strip this coating um, using different means. That would be a low volume application there. I would not recommend that for high volume. Um, some people are even dry blasting this part with an aggressive abrasive at lower pressure uh, to remove the coating and then vapor honing after. I personally recommend two vapor honing systems uh, because you're not gonna excessively roughen the part. Uh, dry blasting systems will excessively roughen a part if they're using the wrong abrasive at the wrong pressure. Um, and it's gonna be very difficult to get a nice smooth surface um, after that using the vapor home. We can polish it, uh, but we're not gonna change the surface of the material that much and make it smooth again. So that is the main point of this video today. Um, most other applications, we can combine steps, like we can decrease parts, we can finish parts in the same process. Um, you can remove rust and polish parts, um, specifically steel parts such as this right here. Uh, this is a shifting fork or this transmission shaft. You can do that sort of operation as a single step uh, with two processes in one. Uh, but we don't wanna let you down and we don't wanna fall short. So don't expect a polishing abrasive to remove coatings and polish at the same time. So if you guys have further questions on this application, please call or email the sales team. And as always, thanks for watching.